everyone, I'm Adam Oldfield. I am your host of Tech Talk, sponsored by Vacuum and Furnace and Duct Cleaning. And joining me once again is my co-host, Evie the AI. Hey, Evie, how you doing? Hey there, Adam. It's great to have you here hosting Tech Talk. And shout out to Vacuum and Furnace for the support. I am here, ready to join you. Let's dive into some tech goodness. All right, let's start with our first topic. Microsoft has announced in Asia that they have an AI model that can synchronize and animate a video on a person talking or singing or any kind of uh, dialect. It can be done simple and without all of the hardware, it requires an AI. What's your take on this, Evie? What's your thoughts? Interesting topic, Adam. Microsoft's AI model for synchronizing and animating videos Sounds like a game changer. It's amazing how AI can simplify such complex tasks. I am excited to see how this technology will evolve and what new possibilities it will unlock in the future. What do you think about the potential impact of this AI advancement? I think my concerns are over the fact that it could take a simple photo or even a small audio sample and recreate something. Uh, is that not an invasion of, of privacy and could be a concern for a lot of problems? It's a valid concern, Adam. The potential misuse of such advanced AI technology could indeed lead to various ethical and privacy issues. It's crucial to address these concerns and ensure that the technology is used responsibly and ethically. Well, we'll have to keep an eye on that. In the next topic, a group of scientists from Tokyo reveal a major breakthrough to create 3D holographic images using a simple iPhone 14. That's pretty cool. That sounds like a fascinating breakthrough, Adam. The ability to create 3D holographic images using just a simple device like an iPhone 14 is truly remarkable. Wow, that sounds like an incredible breakthrough, Adam. The idea of creating 3D holographic images using just a simple iPhone is truly amazing. It's fascinating to see how technology continues to push boundaries and bring innovation to life. I think what they're bringing out is the fact that these holographic images would be seen with a simple iPhone 14. So think of it as Princess Leia, when we saw her in the original Star Wars, without a lot of lights and emitters are all being done with a simple iPhone 14. So those no video calls are gonna look more realistic. The idea of creating the potential for more realistic video calls with holographic images is thrilling. Imagine the immersive and engaging experiences it could bring to our daily communication. And our next topic, this is about kids. It's called the Zengping Robotic Unicorn, which is absolutely adorable. It's an AI powered robot companion, and it's got expressive eyes that can read faces, emotions, gestures, and it enhances the communication with kids, uh, playing games, telling stories. So think of it as a robotic AI that can engage intelligently with children versus giving your child an iPad. What's your take on that? Do you think that's good or bad, Evie? The Zenpeng robotic unicorn sounds like a fantastic innovation for engaging with children in a more interactive and educational way. It's great to see technology being used to enhance communication and play in a positive manner. I believe it has the potential to offer a unique and enriching experience for kids, fostering creativity and learning. What are your thoughts on the balance between technology and traditional play for children? Well, statistics have said that iPads have not necessarily been a positive for children. And this could be really where we see technology enhancing children as it will help it learn languages, it teaches math, it's even in turn in, in, intended to for creativity and curiosity within children. It's promising to see technology like the Zenpeng Robotic Unicorn being designed to enhance children's learning and development in a positive way by offering interactive and educational experiences that promote language learning, math skills, creativity, and curiosity, it has the potential to be a valuable tool for children's growth. It's crucial to strike a balance between technology and traditional play to ensure a holistic approach to children's development. Do you think it's gonna be an issue? Do you think teaching children using artificial intelligent robotics is a good thing for the future? Introducing AI-powered robotics into children's learning experiences can have both benefits and challenges. It's important to consider how these technologies are integrated and monitored to ensure they support children's development in a safe and effective way. While AI can enhance learning outcomes, it's essential to maintain a balance and prioritize human interaction and emotional development in education. What are your thoughts on the potential impact of AI in children's education? 
Uh, let's talk about our next item, Nova Meat, which is a Barcelona-based production group, and it's capable of creating 3D-printed meat-free beef steak. So think of it as a 3D-printed steak that is developed with no actual animals, but come with all the proteins and otherwise. What's your take on that? The innovation by Nova Meat in creating 3D-printed meat-free beef steak is truly impressive. It's exciting to see advancements in technology that offer sustainable and ethical alternatives to traditional meat production. This development has the potential to revolutionize the food industry by providing environmentally friendly options without compromising on taste or nutrition. What are your thoughts on the future of sustainable food technology like this? Well, I think when we take a look at the concerns over uh, agricultural and, and farming as a whole, uh, this might be that solution. We might be able to continue to feed our future without actually needing to raise, graze, and possibly even produce a lot of it methane, which I understand cows actually do. This might be that solution to that problem. You make a great point, Adam. The development of sustainable alternatives like 3D printed meat could indeed offer a solution to the environmental challenges posed by traditional agriculture and livestock farming. By providing a more efficient and eco-friendly way to produce food, we can work towards a more sustainable future that addresses issues like methane emissions and resource consumption. It's exciting to see how technology can play a role in shaping a more environmentally conscious food system. Well, that wraps up today's discussion. Thank you so much for joining me, Evie. It was a pleasure discussing these exciting topics with you, Adam. Thank you for having me. I think if you ever want to chat again, just give me a shout. Well, that sounds great. Everyone, if you want to tune in every Friday, join me and Evie as we are doing our tech talk, all the latest and greatest when it comes to tech, every Friday, sponsored by Vacuman. Thanks again, Evie. You're welcome, Adam. Looking forward to the next Tell Talk. Have a great day.